that, I'd like to introduce to you El, um, Earl Debris, and he is a candidate for Chafee Joint Union High School District um, Area 3. So would you welcome him, please? Thank you very much for inviting me tonight. Um, my name is Earl DeVries. I'm running for Chafee Joint Union uh, School District, uh, area number three. The school district uh, broke into five pieces of pie, I guess, and uh, so I live in South Ontario and I'm running for that seat in area number three. So um, I wear several hats, so I thought I'd explain to you a little bit about who I am by wearing a, a different hat. And this one says, someone gave me a said, this is his name, my name is Earl, that's on that hat there. And uh, I've been married to my wife, Judy, for uh, 40 years. Uh, she's a public school teacher, and uh, I work for a small rental company in Ranch Cucamonga, and we attend Calvary Chapel in Chino Hills. Uh, we are, have two married children and two grandchildren, and uh, I'm also a, a prolific volunteer, and uh, I'm the past uh, board member of Salem Christian Homes for the Handicapped. Uh, those are developing delayed adults that live in uh, various homes in this area. I've uh, loved uh, volunteering and working for them. And this is, this is my father of the bride hat. So like I said, when my daughter got married, uh, I was given this hat. And uh, so I proudly wear that. Uh, like I said, uh, now my daughter lives in Michigan with my grandkids. I'm also a volunteer for uh, what's called the Friends of the National Rifle Association. Uh, we raise money for education and uh, firearm safety uh, for people of all ages. I'm the vice chair of that committee. I've been a member of that committee for 13 years. Uh, and we have a fundraising event uh, next month at Bass Pro Shop, and you're more than welcome to uh, uh, talk to me afterwards about coming down there. I'll be one of the uh, people helping with the uh, volunteer effort. I'm uh, on the San Bernardino County Fish and Game Commission, appointed, appointed by Supervisor Kirk Hagman. Yeah, there again, just uh, something of my interest and I appreciate uh, helping out. Um, if you've ever been to downtown Ontario at Christmas time, there's nativity scenes that are put up. I've been part of that committee for over 20 years. Um, it's really an important part of history for downtown Ontario, but also to help um, show the Christian Christian message of uh, all the uh, nativity scenes. Uh, so I always urge everybody who uh, to go down there and take a look at them. If we don't have uh, people uh, traveling down there, take a look at them, walk around them, um, then eventually they'll disappear, and we don't really want that to happen. Uh, they go up the uh, first uh, weekend after Thanksgiving and open up uh, and stay up to New Year's. Um, I uh, volunteer at Calvary Chapel. Uh, Chino Hills and a ministry called The Call, which we uh, do door-to-door -door evangelism. And so I've got my little two question marks here. So if you have any questions, you can always ask me about those. Uh, I'd love to talk about those. I'm the president of a small conservative Republican club that meets in Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, in fact, they meet tonight, but um, I'm here, and so uh, they'll have to run the meeting without me. Um, and I just love uh, working with these different groups uh, to get the word about what they do, but also uh, to help raise money for them because it's just important. And this is probably my favorite hat. It says, God loves you and your unborn child, Psalm uh, 139. Uh, my family and I have uh, housed about 25 homeless uh, girls and their babies in our houses uh, for free over the years um, to help them kind of get back on their own two feet. Um, my wife, uh, Judy, has talked uh, to girls at the abortion clinic uh, about once a week for the last 30 years, just pleading with them to uh, give life to the babies. Um, and so life is really important. People are important. Um, and that's uh, it's just something that's part of uh, why we want to get involved in our community. Uh, Judy also mentors uh, some teen moms from Chino schools. And we have a Bible study at our house uh, about every other week. Um, we want to get out of the into the community, come out of, of our home and help be involved in um, making a difference, we pray. And so that's part of the reason I can run, want to run for school board 
there again, something in the community that uh, I'd love to help out. And this, this is my last hat. Uh, if you're familiar with this, this is a, called the Citizens Emergency Response Team. And I uh, took some classes in Ontario. And so the idea is that if there's an earthquake, um, you know how to help take care of yourself, your family, your neighborhood. Uh, the uh, fire captain, when he introduced us to this class, he said, uh, when there's an earthquake, I'm not coming to your house. I'm not coming to your house. I'm going to the mall, I'm going to the hospitals to help, uh, help people, and so we're basically on our own. So I really look at that as a way to get to know my neighbors. I pass out flyers with them every six months just to be <coughs> prepared. I, I tease them that if they don't have water saved up, I'll sell them my pool water for $10 a gallon, but that probably won't be very good for them, and I don't know if that's not very neighborly. But, uh, but uh, um, the last 18 years, my wife and I have hosted a... Uh, backyard pool party at our house uh, during the summer just there again to get away no neighbors um, and we want uh, safety in our neighbors like I said by town about uh, how to be prepared for an earthquake and I want the same thing for our schools um, and we talk about bullying and and some of the issues that go on with schools like that um, there have been three suicides in the Chafee Joint Unified School District uh, this past year um, and so that's really troubling. Uh, that means that there's some real problems that are beyond uh, just the books and uh, the sports and other things going on. And uh, I don't know what all the real answers are for that specifically, but I know that um, when you struggle and you don't know God, you don't have any hope. And uh, that's, um, that's something that just is it's really sad to me. Um, and then we have Sacramento, who's not very helpful. I've got an article here about that they are, uh, uh, we have a law that passed the assembly, it's on the governor's desk, that would allow parents to bring uh, medical marijuana to the schools for their children that would uh, uh, need uh, medicine. Uh, that just this doesn't seem like that's a very good thing to do. They can bring it to the school and campuses on the, in the form of vaping or on pills. Um, we heard a lot about the comprehensive sex education programs, and um, we need really parental notification is so important because we want to have things more local, would also mean we want them local in your own home to decide the standards that you want to raise your children in. And those should not be determined by, um, by textbooks that they drag in from other places that are just not very good. Um, they also have uh, a very lax dress codes these days, and uh, that's very dist disturbing in the sense that you're uh, um, not going to concentrate on school when. Um, Kids are dressed in their pajama pants and so on. Uh, I don't think that's a good way to set Stanford uh, to uh, help you study. Um, I'm hoping also to uh, look at other ways we can help uh, uh, students who are interested in other vocational things. Uh, my daughter worked uh, part time in high school for a secretary, as a secretary, and that helped her uh, in her future career. And I think there's other things that we can have uh, uh, the business community give us a real uh, insight of what would be beneficial for the students that would come into their businesses to work in the future someday. Uh, I've also served on a bond oversight committee, and I think that experience will help me uh, look at things critically because I saw many things that they spent the money on that uh, were not a benefit to the students, to the classroom, and um, that's how can we improve our school. We can, uh, don't have, we're spending money on things that are, aren't uh, necessary. Uh, I've been blessed to be endorsed by uh, City Councilwoman, Ontario City Councilwoman Debbie Doris Parada, a good friend of mine, and also uh, our County Supervisor Kirk Hagman. Uh, running for office is a team effort, and one of the sheets you have on your, your chair there is asking you to participate. And you can participate by uh, praying for me and for our campaign. Uh, we also uh, need help uh, walking uh, neighborhoods and putting up yard signs and, uh, and of course, donating money. Uh, those are things all. Uh, part of what your campaign has to do. Um, I put my phone number and my email on there. That's also on my uh, ballot statement so people can get a hold of me and talk to me. Uh, uh, my cell phone's always on. So I want to thank you all for letting me stop by and say hi today. And God bless you and God bless America. Thank you.